First of all, open the Quick Heroes app. Then, tap on My Cricket. I want to buy live streaming for this match. My team is Sharks. I must be the admin of this team if I want to use live streaming. Let's confirm. So I'm going to go to my team. Here we go. I am already the admin. If you're not the admin, ask your captain to make you admin of the team. Just tap on the name and choose admin. Tap OK. Now, there are two admins of this team. And let's go back. Let's go back to the match. Let's tap on the match one more time. Tap edit. First thing you need to do is to add yourself as the live streamer for this match. Tap on live streamer. Now here you type in your own mobile number. This is your own mobile number that you have to type in. Then tap find. There you go. Then tap add live streamer. So now you've been added as a live streamer for this match. Next step. Let's just go on and tap on schedule match. And now let's tap on the match one more time. This time tap on go live. Now remember you have to choose the second option via professional camera. Now tap on per match then tap done. Check the box here and then tap on purchase. Then tap yes, I want to buy. And put in your credit card details or debit card details here. Then tap make payment. Now tap pay. Type in the code that you receive and tap submit. There you go. It's done. You have successfully purchased the score ticker. Let's tap done. And now choose a theme that you like. So choose a theme. I'm going to choose this one. The gloss theme. Now, once done, tap next. There you go. This is the link that is going to be very important. You can share it on WhatsApp or you can simply copy it. This is the link we will be using in Prism Live Studio app. Then tap start streaming. Tap yes, let's do it. And this is all done right here. We need another mobile device for live streaming where we will use this link. Now, let's get started with live streaming. I have two devices, one on a tripod for live streaming and the other one on the left is for scoring. I have already copied the link for the score bar that I'm going to add to my video. Here's the link. Let's copy it. Now let's switch back to Prism Live. And then I'm going to tap on Widget. Then from the option, I'm going to tap on With. And under the URL, I'm going to paste the link. Press delete this, then tap again and choose paste. And then just under that, there's a title. I'm going to leave it as it is, but you can type any title. Tap save. Now, there you go. This is the score bar. This is going to be applied to the video. Simply tap on this to add it to the video. So let's tap on this. Zoom out. Once your zoom is proper, then tap on this button right here to maximize. There you go. The score bar has been applied. You can see the match details on the screen now. Next step would be to go live. As you can see the button on the right side, just tap on it and check all the details, put a title, Whatever title suits you, just put it, type it in, and then tap done. And now again, for the final time, tap on the live button. And you can see that you're going live. Now you're live on Facebook. 
Let's start scoring and see if the score will be updated on the live video live streaming. Select all the details. Tap next. Suppose Sharks won the toss and elected to bet. Tap Let's Play. Now choose the striker, in on striker, and the bowler. Tap Start Scoring. Suppose the first delivery is a dot ball. Ignore the wagon wheel, just tap Cancel. And the score bar is being updated on the live stream. Let's say the next delivery is a maximum. The animation works perfectly. Let's try again. Tap the boundary. Four. Tap done. And there you go. The animation works perfectly again. Let's continue scoring. Let's start the next over. You can see the end of over summary is also being shown on the live streaming. Let's choose our next baller. Again, the first delivery is a dot delivery. And let's see how the out option will work. When we bring in the new batsman, there will be a new animation shown on the screen. So let's bring myself and you can see that the animation is being shown, the batting number of matches the player has played, the strike rate, the highest run. So everything works perfectly. Go ahead and try it. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Once the match is over, go ahead and tap on the end button on the top right corner. And don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video.